If not for donated Western weaponry and military support, the war in Ukraine would be long over. If Ukraine wants to stay in the fight against Russia, however, the country needs to rely more on its own domestic production of weapons, vehicles, and ammunition. Almost as soon as Vladimir Putin took power in Russia, he began building up its military base. Ukraine is much smaller than Russia and didn't really get started building up its military industrial base until after Russia's initial incursion into eastern Ukraine in 2014. So there's a long way yet to go before Ukraine will achieve its goal of being the arsenal to the West, but the country is making sizable strides. Oleksandr Komushin, Ukraine's strategic industries minister, says last year the country tripled its weapons production from the year before. During the recent Ukraine Year 2024 forum in Kyiv, Komushin told the crowd 500 companies are now working in the country's defense sector. 100 of those are state-owned, the other 400 are from private industry. Combined, Ukraine's defense sector employs around 300,000 people now. Drones are some of the most obvious and abundant weapon systems Ukraine produces. Kyiv wants the country producing a million unmanned systems a year and should achieve that goal in 2024. The Army of Drones initiative makes fairly regular deliveries containing thousands of UAVs, which come in several different types, from small FPV-style drones to the octocopter known as Baba Yaga, named after a mythic character from Slavic folklore. But Ukraine doesn't just do unmanned aerial vehicles, it's also leading innovations in the worlds of unmanned surface vessels and unmanned ground vehicles, known as USVs and UGVs respectively. Ukraine's homegrown sea babies were the main characters in some of the most dramatic maritime combat footage of the last two decades, and are credited with helping to severely damage or outright destroy almost two dozen Russian warships in the Black Sea. There are a number of unmanned ground vehicles now made in Ukraine. Some act as mine layers or munitions mules. Others are mounted with weapons like remote-controlled machine guns. In 2024, Ukraine says it will implement a few new UGV models as well. Ukraine also started producing more mortar launchers, artillery shells, a domestically designed self-propelled howitzer called the Bodana, and a newly revamped Neptune missile which will enhance the country's long-range strike capabilities. And this is where things get a little tricky, because while there are plans to continue investing in the country's defensive industry, Ukraine is completely reliant on others for some of the key components needed to make bullets, bombs, and missiles. Things like gunpowder. Yes, that's right, Ukraine has no domestic source for gunpowder. And if Ukraine starts making long-range weapons that need space-based communications for their guidance systems, those systems will be at the mercy of whoever controls the orbiting satellites. And right now, that certainly is not Ukraine. So, as the Institute for the Study of War put it, Ukraine's long-term path to success over Russia relies on the country creating a self-sufficient defensive industrial base, but needs support from the U.S. and Europe to get there. Building new factories and installing the air defense systems they'll likely need, as well as training a new workforce, takes time and also costs a lot of money. Securing government-funded deals with partner countries like the United States would do the most to help secure Kyiv's future in weapons manufacturing. But that won't happen until Congress passes more legislation. Some private European companies are working directly with Kyiv to set up weapons factories and country, and the government there touts its battlefields as great places for manufacturers to test new designs.